Last Wednesday, well, I did videos, but I'm having problems with my computer. It's Nicole with HelpMomRemote.com. So today I'm going to do a little vlog. I haven't did a video probably since like last Wednesday. Well, I did videos, but I'm having problems with my computer. So I can't upload them properly. So I'm using my iPad today and hopefully that works. So what I'm in the process of doing now, I got my oven cleaning. I turned on the self-cleaning to clean my oven. I wanted to sweep the front, outside the front door, but it started raining. So I'll just do um, the intro. See, it's pretty dirty. I need to put in boxes. Then I got my daughter lunch boxes right here. I'm still trying to figure out what to do. With she's it. in this red bag, like her flip flops and stuff. I need to find a little tote or something to put them in. So I need to clean up this area right here until I could get outside and um, sweep out the, off the front. Dinner. We're gonna have the some eggplant. I'm gonna try to do some eggplant lasagna. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. I'm not a fan of eggplant, but I'm trying to squeeze all the vegetables in that I can. So I'm going to do like an eggplant lasagna and I'm just going to make a small lasagna for the kids. That's what I'll be doing for them. So that's it. Oh, I'm going to share with you my sneak peek of the week. I didn't do a lot of um, decoration into my planner this week because I was really busy this weekend. We threw my grandmother um, an 85th birthday party. Her church, some members of her church threw her 85th birthday party. So I was busy doing that and then like I said with the computer issues I'm like okay let me just um, put my plans in and I have to do my calendar for my command center I'll do that today and I'm gonna keep that one simple too. just put in all the dates so that I won't forget those I um, got a load of laundry in and yeah so that's um, what's going on over here like I said I got the stove cleaning so if you hear some noise I got the fan on because it gets kind of hot in here. The smoke detector just went Happy off. simple. I use my Happy Planner stickers. And some of the stickers I made for some of the appointments that we have here. So I just use those. And just like I said, I went along with the color that was already used here. And just picked some stickers to flow with that. And now I like adding some like little accents. So I picked some stuff with black. And also like with the natural colors there uh, me and my son had a dentist appointment yesterday and when we got there you could smell gas and we they were like um well um you can leave and we'll call you I'm like bye <laughs> I had to get a cavity um filled and you know I didn't want to be bothered with that anyway yes I did that uh yesterday uh, what else is going on this week? This week I'm in zone one. That's why I'm doing the front entry, um, the front porch entry, and the living room. I'm also going to be doing, um, like when I first started organizing a few years ago, I would do one room a month and just focus on that room. So this month, February, I'm doing the kitchen. And I painted the kitchen. Um, I painted uh, the bookshelf that I had in there. I still have to paint my hutch. What else I got to do? I still have to paint the bottom cabinets. I painted the inside of the top cabinets. Let me show y'all. So these are the top cabinets. And I love it. Nice and neat. So I painted the inside white. They were just the regular like brown wood. Painted those. I put all the dishes we use in there. They were on the bookshelf that I had that I created. Now I created that bookshelf into like an open bookshelf pantry. And maybe later on I have my husband put some like screen doors on it. I'll think about that, but I'm going to live with it for right now. But this is what I did with the inside. I put the contact paper down. I found this contact paper at Walmart. So I did those cabinets. And then, and, and this cabinet used to be all the stuff that was on the bookshelf and these cabinets right here. And then a bottom cabinet. And here I just have some of my Pyrex dishes that I use often. I use these like um, the mix and bowls I use often. All these things I use often. The fridges I use to put food in a the fridge. These milk glass bowls I use for mixing. 
So all the bowls I use often, I put there. I have a lot of more fabrics, but they'll put up some rail on here. It's all my seasonings. I need to get a new um, chalk paint marker um, so I can write some of them that's rubbing off. When my hands are wet, they will like rub off a little, but you can still see what they are. So I just need to do that. So those are some empty bottles over there on the side and then some, you know, assorted stuff there. And then over, I have my oils and stuff. I'm wondering, I don't know, I may have to use move that coconut oil. I just thought about that, I bet it's going to get really hot over here. I don't know, I might have to move my oils. Just thinking about that, that might not work too good. But I didn't get my tall bottles here, pasta there, and then my little grease can. Yeah, it might get too hot over here, but some of my greases. So I may have to move those because I originally had them on top of the can. This is what I did with the open bookshelf. I put all my spices, seasoning, beans other stuff that I cook with. Here are all the cooking things I use to for baking. Have to refill some of those. Um, got some onions in there. In that basket there I have some extra beans. Spaghetti squash. I might pull out some Pyrex bowls for these instead of and put the baskets back. I have to think about that. And then there I have like raisins, some few cookbooks that I never look in, y'all. I do not use cookbooks. So that's pretty much what I did there. And you all remember, remember this sign I got from the sign I got from the Target Dollar Spot. I put it there. In order to write on it, um, you know, good, I will have to take it down to put the menu on. I'll probably start that um, the following week after we're off of our um, Daniel Fast. Because right now I'm just... I'm winging it. <laughs> I'm just cooking vegetables, whatever we have in the refrigerator. Oh, yeah, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the calendar that I have on my command center. Do that. Um, Got to look at my to-do list and see what else I need to do. I need to go take the load out the machine. It's finished. And put in my clothes because today is Tuesday. I do my laundry on today. Um, pretty much, that's pretty much it what I'm doing today. My daughter, she has a black history project she's working on, um, Rosa Parks. So we'll um, we, um, typed out and printed out the info that she's going to put on her poster board. So today we'll just glue it down. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Bible study starts back tomorrow. Um, uh, we wanted to, our small groups start again. We are, we are going to be in one small group. And then our church ha is having a... Um, financial peace small group with um, Dave uh, um, Dave Ramsey but we don't think we're going to be able to take it this time with so much I don't like to like fill my um, days you know just really fill them so we might have to take that another time because we did have our heart on this other couple small group that we're doing but hopefully next um, go round we'll be able to take the financial peace because I really want to um, take it I've been hearing a lot about it. my calendar for my command center and this is it I did some little valentine because I I don't know I may do a valentine layout in my planner for the week of valentine week maybe so maybe maybe but this is it Use some heart washi tape. All my washi tape I use on here is from Dollar from Dollar Tree. Um, the washi tape from Dollar Tree is more like a paper washi tape. Very easy to cut, but sometimes it doesn't stick as well. Got these little hearts here from the Target Dollar Spot, and that's it so far. Dinner is ready. This is the eggplant and spinach, and I have some pasta sauce. And I just layered it eggplant, spinach, eggplant, spinach. Um, didn't put any cheese or anything on it, which I know would taste great with it. I did um, drizzle some olive oil on the top, the very top, since I didn't put any um, more pasta sauce on it. And then this is over here the kids' lasagna. Um, there's cheese on I didn't use any ricotta cheese, just a basic lasagna, some ground turkey lasagna noodle and cheese we've been on this daniel fast i have not been cooking early in the morning because it really doesn't make sense to because I, we've been eating a lot of salad just a lot of veggies and they just taste so much better when they're really hot or just freshly made so um that's it so what time is it it is 
4.30, I have a commission meeting at Hopefully 6. I can get my um, computer working right. Otherwise, I will be doing videos from my iPad. See you guys. Bye-bye. Oh, these some pens. Let me show y'all these pens. Okay, now these pens here are from Dollar Tree. Now, I had another pen. I found it around the house somewhere, and evidently it was from Dollar Tree. And But it was more of like the flare pen, you know, but it leaked through, but really nice writing. But this has a really nice writing, too. And... That's what the point looks like, but really, really nice. It doesn't bleed through. So these I got found like at checkout. Let me try to see. I found at checkout. So I'll be using these for my planner because I've been wanting a nice black pen for my planner if I just want to do everything in black instead of color coding. Alrighty. Bye -bye.